Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Metroid 2, Return of Samus on the Game Boy. I'm the tenth enemy. And I can't hear the game. Crap. Okay. Now in this part we're gonna see pretty much all the backtracking that this game has to offer. And I said it was a linear Metroid game, and it is. This is very linear backtracking. Oh, so you see there's still lava here. There was lava there when we came in to this area. So that lava didn't drain with the recent earthquake. So I suppose we should keep going through this weird morph ball passageway. Okay, so out here in the awesome music area, there should be lava. Or, well, there shouldn't be, because it drains, see? There used to be lava right here which forced us to go to the right. So we've entered the next funnel. Is that missile upside down? Is that the way they look? I guess they do. Hmm. <clears throat> thought they... thought they were flipped the other way around. Alright, so what in the hell is that? Look at that thing. Another, another enemy design. I love it. The flying octopus. It's a flying octopus. How can anyone say this game is bad when it has flying octop octopods? That's what I'll call them. They're octopods. These ones drop big energies. We heal a whole... Well, they heal a whole lot. I don't know how much. But it's good. So... I guess this would be area 4 or 5 or something. But to me it's just a hallway. We haven't entered area... Uh... Hmm, what would it be? three or four yet. Ow. Oh. oh man. Come on. Okay. There's a Metroid in here. What else were you expecting? Cheesecake? I never counted to see how many of those take. I bet it's like 10, something like that. So that's the only thing in there. And as you'll notice, it's another earthquake. I'd like to know how these Metroids are controlling the earthquake. Or, I guess it would be the Metroids are preventing the earthquakes from happening and when we kill the metroids then they can't prevent the earthquakes anymore so maybe we're doing a bad thing here killing all the metroids they keep us safe from the earthquakes don't go in the lava Magma. I'm just gonna call it lava. Everyone calls it lava. Okay. <laughs> I don't. Think of anything to say. 
so I should not be recording this right now. But whatever. I don't know what these things are supposed to be. The weird enemies. They look like they have drills on their face. Maybe they are drills, I don't know. So now that we had an earthquake, I'm gonna I have a feeling that it's that lava we saw on the way over. That was on, again on the other side of this strange passageway. I think we'll be seeing it yet again in the future. Okay. Those are the enemies you can't hit from the side with anything other than the wave beam. So now... Yeah, we go. I think we'll be presented with a fork in the road. Some, some point soon. So I guess it's not totally linear. So here it is, there's two Metroid shells and two paths, so... I can't imagine what would be at the end of these paths. Chocolate? Bubblegum? Oh, I didn't see that guy. One thing about this game is... the. Oh, Samus's sprite is... it takes up a lot of the screen. So, there's really not much space to, uh, to shoot and stuff. It seems much more close, like zoomed in, than in the Metroid on the NES. Another Metroid in here. Come on, hit it! Oh man, I'm doing very bad, very poorly, but yeah, anything, anything outside of the screen's boundary pretty much doesn't exist. You can't shoot anything out there. The bullets only go as far as the screen, so that can be a problem when you're fighting Metroids and stuff. Ooh. So these platforms here, they like disappear. Like like in Mega Man. I don't know if they're supposed to be enemies or what, but you don't even need to use them. Because we have the uh can jump upside down. We have the uh space jump. So I don't know what, what's the deal with those platforms. Maybe you maybe you don't need the space jump? Well, I'm sure you need it by the end of the game. Well, am I? Am I sure? Suppose you could spider ball, maybe. Oh, I don't know. So now we're gonna go left here. We went up and now we go left. There should be another Metroid at the end of this path. And look at this. More of these platforms. These ones are moving. They look kind of like they have eyes. Maybe they're creatures. Can't imagine what. So in here... Ah, look at that. An Alpha Metroid. That was no problem at all. Get a nice energy refill. What is that? Oh wait, it's an earthquake. This planet has a lot of 
seismic activity. Of course it's volcanic. I wonder if there's tectonic movements. Maybe this lava is conjured from the Metroids, and that's why it disappears when we kill them. Yes, that makes sense. That's what's going on. The lava is conjured. Huh. Who put those spikes there, I wonder? Video games always have spikes everywhere. Spikes on the on the floor, on the ceiling, on the walls. I wonder why that is. Because you don't ever see spikes in, in real life. At least I don't. I wonder if spikes would be a good security system. Line the floor with spikes. They'll never get in. That's what Dr. Wily would do. What the hell am I talking about? So I guess we go back down here. Yet again. I don't like these things coming out of the walls. I never let those live. I don't let anything live in this game. That's what it's about. Wait, what? Wait. Wait, am I going the right way? I don't think I am. Isn't this where I came from? Oh, of course. I wasn't going the right way. Oh, I already went there. We have to keep going this time. Those fish heads. Die. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. <laughs> oh, man. So. Actually, just yesterday, I for the first time beat Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Never played it before. Started playing it. I don't know, a couple weeks ago. That it that game is the best Metroid game that has ever been made. Oh my god. Okay, so you get here and you see these weird pixelated blocks. And they won't move, so. What do you do with blocks that don't move? You shoot them with missiles. Or you hit them with hammers is what you usually do. Alright. And the awesome music zone has stopped. Oh man. Another thing they have a lot of in video games is, oh my god, is it just platforms floating in midair. Not connected to anything. And people don't have a problem with this. It's, it's really ridiculous. It's just, they're like normal. They're commonplace in video games the standard. It's platforms floating in the air. Shouldn't they fall? Okay, let's go down here. And we've entered the next area now. The next major area. And I guess this will be a short part because I'm not gonna do this area in this movie this video. 
Oh, here's how you continue. You destroy that. That reminds me of a part from Metroid Fusion. Again, there's blocks to jump on, even though we don't need them. Jump, buddy, jump. And that's it for this part. Thank you for watching, if you were. I've been the 10th enemy playing Metroid 2 Return of Samus for the Game Boy. Stay tuned for the next part. I'm gonna save now. And goodbye.